really it is um, going to be one of the, uh, the biggest summers uh, in, in the sports history. I think firstly, overnight, we'd like to recognise um, the fact the Australian women's cricket team uh, narrowly beat uh, India by nine runs to make it through to the semi-final of the Women's um, T20 World Cup. So I'm sure uh, whilst it's very late at night, everyone's been very closely um, following that tournament. And then really this summer is the first time I think going back to the Ashes in 2017-18 where we've been able to have a marquee five match um, series and really be able to open all of the gates, um, invite um, every, everyone in. So um, it is a um, wonderful uh, privilege to, to host Pakistan for three T20s and uh, three one days. Uh, the one day in Melbourne is uh, the night before the Melbourne Cup, so everyone should be able to remember um, remember that date. And then, of course, it's the first time in over 33 years that we'll play um, five test matches against India for the Border Gavaskar um, Trophy. And but I think really that um, fixturing came about uh, through the relationships that we developed during COVID. Do you remember last time India toured uh, was at a, a very difficult time. Uh, for, for everybody, and the fact that India came forward, it was such a close for competitive series at a time when everyone was stuck at home, you know, I thought brought a lot of joy to people at a time, um, you know, when there was a, you know, a lot of, um, it was just a very, very, very difficult time. Um, and then through those discussions, that it was really um, that um, you know, India and Australia, this emerging rivalry, um, should, um, if the Ashes are going to be five test matches, then absolutely the Border Gavaskar series should be five test matches. So, um, India have won the last four series. Uh, they, uh, um, both teams, um, from the conversations I had, are highly, highly motivated. Um, and really they are the number one and two teams in the world. We saw that at the, um, the World Test Championship Final, we saw it again in Ahmedabad for the uh, for the Cricket World Cup um, final, and um, the, the two teams are currently ranked one and two. So um, we are in for uh, an absolute treat. The very best players in the world playing the the, the format that we all love the most um, in some of the best stadiums um, and in front of hugely passionate fans. Um, from here, but also um, we know from the postcode data we've seen that uh, when six times as many people are coming from India that have come uh, previously, and then the number of people that are coming to support, um, particularly India from the diaspora, whether it's from the US, Canada, the UK, uh, in really extraordinary numbers. Um, so you know, I think it will be both teams will will, be, will get phenomenal. Um, phenomenal support. So um, uh, that's going to be a great introduction to the summer. Um, and then um, tomorrow, I'm excited that we'll be announcing the uh, dates for the men's ashes. And so next year, um, it's going to be an incredible 2025, an incredible year of ashes cricket. Um, and most excitingly, first up, I've got a multi format series um, uh, for uh, the women's teams. And here in Melbourne, uh, we're playing the, the test match. It'll be the 90th anniversary of the first women's test match. And it'll be the first day night test, women's or men's, um, at the MCG. So uh, really encourage, I know everyone will be um, coming to watch Pakistan, everyone will be coming to watch India, but really encourage each of you to come to what will be a fantastic celebration of, uh, of cricket and women's cricket for the women's um, Ashes um, Test Match. So we mentioned it's an exciting time for the game. Uh, I've talked about this summer, which is going to be huge, but then um, going forward next year, we've got the, the Men's Ashes. Um, the following summer, um, we're hosting New Zealand for four Test Matches, which is um, you know, an, another fantastic <coughs> rivalry. But then um, I'm not sure whether there are any in the room that were here for the uh, remember the cent centenary test in 1977, but um, 2027 will be 150 years since the first Ashes test. 
um, and England are going to come out for a one-off test match, which will be be huge. And then the following year, uh, we're hosting the men's um, T20 World Cup um, jointly with New Zealand. And um, I remember many of uh, we've had a few conversations today about just that incredible India-Pakistan game um, at the MCG and the tremendous support um, from across the communities. That's something to look forward to. And that very same year, cricket. Um, will be um, back in the Olympics for the first time since 1900. Um, and then, of course, we've got Brisbane to look forward to. So, um, you know, a fantastically um, exciting team. It's a, a great privilege to be here with, um, you know, I always say we stand on the shoulders of giants, um, to Ian, Ken, um, for all the work that you've done, and then also Ross Harish, uh, the leadership um, that you provide um, here in, in Victoria. Um, and, and then more broadly, um, we are very clear on the vision for um, Australian cricket to be a sport for all um, that makes us Australians proud. And to that end, um, we've seen incredible growth in uh, the number of women and girls playing the game. Uh, we've also, um, we're seeing increasingly, particularly at junior level, uh, people from all different uh, backgrounds uh, different cultural backgrounds um, picking, playing the game um, but we're still not at a, a position where um, through whether it's at the administrative levels or also at the very senior playing levels that uh, we're still rep we're yet representative of the community we serve and for that we've got a very clear women and girls action plan a very clear multicultural action plan some fantastic support from um, from ambassadors from leaders so I do want to call out Johan uh, for all your uh, support as an ambassador, Harish, also your leader, your incredible, uh, incredible leadership, and um, you know, ultimately, I think the wonderful thing about cricket is, well, it's really embodied in the room tonight. It brings people uh, together from all backgrounds. I think so far I've met people with um, British, Indian, Afghani, Sri Lankan. Uh, Pakistani heritage, and I'm probably missing about three or four or five. Um, so um, it's great to be with so many friends, uh, all celebrating the game we love, and um, really looking forward to sharing this uh, blockbuster um, Pakistan Border Gavaskar uh, Women's Ashes Summer um, with everybody. Thank you.